All right, guys. Today's the day. I am making bread today. It's that time again. Woohoo, let's go. I have a dilemma. Not a dilemma, but I found, because I found the solution. I really want to make white bread in the Dutch oven because Gabe, he really likes the texture of sourdough bread and like the shape of the bread, but he doesn't like the taste of sourdough. Also in other news, I think my sourdough started went bad, so I'm gonna have to throw that away as well. I was just scrolling through my Instagram reels as one does. A Dutch oven crusty bread recipe popped up. It was Ashley Howery's. That's what the name said on the Instagram. So Ashley Howery's Dutch oven crusty baked bread recipe is what I'm using. It requires four ingredients. So I'm gonna get those out. If you were curious as to what I got going on. To start off this recipe, we are going to put one and a half cups of warm water into a bowl and two and a half teaspoons of active dry yeast um, into the bowl with the warm water. And we are going to wait 10, 15 minutes, maybe less, maybe more for that to activate. And then we will put in our salt and all purpose flour is what we are going to be using today. With this recipe, it seems like I really just need to the bowl and like I'm gonna knead it in the bowl. I don't know if I should, I'm just gonna do this just in case. It weirds me out that there's no sugar in this recipe. I always feel like there's just a tiny bit of sugar in every bread recipe I try. My pot stickers are done, yo. It's not super foamy right now, but this is my second time trying this. So I'm just gonna start mixing other stuff in and see what happens. I'm not sure why it's not rising too well. I also did spray, cause I'm just gonna knead the dough in here. So I did spray it with baking pan, which could have affected it because like oil and yeast probably don't mix well together. So that on top of the extra humidity outside from the rain, I'm sure doesn't work well. This says all we're using all purpose flour, so we're doing it because that's interesting. Three and a half cups. Oh my gosh, I think that was honestly perfect. I have more just in case. Time is of the essence, I probably shouldn't just leave this. All right, oh, let me just mix it a little bit. I'm just like using my hands to knead in the dough. I think this is supposed to be like a super simple, easy recipe. I am gonna do this for a while because I am pretty sure they used a KitchenAid mixer. And then it said, once you have a sticky dough, you're good. So I'm not sure how long I need to knead this for. I mean, I do got a sticky dough. We're gonna let this at least double in size so it says 
to wait like two to three hours. I'm gonna put it in here for a couple hours and then I just have to remember to take it out before I preheat the Dutch oven. I will be back in like two, three hours. All right, homies. The bread has probably risen. So now we're gonna preheat the oven to 425. With the Dutch oven inside. team so the timer just went off well not the timer but the oven has officially preheated to 425 if you were wondering yes I am making pot stickers again for dinner but this time we're making it with rice so it's extra good this is the piece of parchment paper I've acquired I'm gonna punch the dough super sticky dough So, I'm gonna just put this in a little ball. This dough feels so weird. Okay. Put this in a ball, put it on our parchment paper. Okay. We're gonna slice up some so it can open. Yeah. Oh my goodness, what a ferocious baby. So we're gonna put that in for 35 minutes, take the lid off, and then put it in for another five to 10 minutes. I'm gonna plate our gourmet dinner. well-rounded meal suited for 21 year olds <laughs> Not a lot of work at all. I barely had to do anything for that. 